Nora Snots Fashion. We design this with passion. Nora Snots Fashion. Fa 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 <laughs> How come you have headphones on? How else are we all going to hear this? I followed my crush to the basement. We're instantly regrets it. Uh, my anime stories are really addicting. To oh, they're so like, good. I was running through the rain. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> Trying to get home as quickly as possible when I noticed my crush James walking onto the school grounds. But I had to know what he was up to. What if he was breaking into the school? What? 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 It goes from James. I love James, but what if he's a criminal? <laughs> I decided to follow him, and at one point, I swear, he turned around and looked right at me. I didn't know if I was seeing things, but it even looked like he smiled at me. Suddenly, I felt brave. I was going to tell him how I felt, the moment I'd waited for my whole life. Like we've learned that James is sus, and now she's going to break into the school with him, I'm guessing? And oh, no, they're tell her like baddies together. Yeah. James how she feels about him. But then I saw him climbing into the tornado shelter and that should have been my first warning not to keep following him because things were about to get super weird. Okay, so there I was climbing into a tornado shelter. Would you do this for your crush? No way! One minute into the video, so much has happened. We've still got 15 to go. Like, what's gonna happen? I was acting purely on impulse and it felt amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! But I couldn't see anything, so I used the flashlight on my phone and realized he'd already gone down the stairs. The rain was really pouring now, so I closed the lid. The last thing I wanted was to flood the shelter. Not on a special night like tonight. I'd never been this close to James before. Just the- Say, so, uh, James looks like he's pointing at you. Oh. Just the two of us alone. Except we weren't alone. As soon as I closed the lid, I heard a girl's voice. No! I started panicking and decided this had been a stupid idea. I pushed the lid to climb back out, but it wouldn't open. So James is trapping lots of little girls in basements. <laughs> Sketchy James! Suddenly I heard a kissing sound and I realized my worst nightmare had just come true. I was stuck in a tornado shelter with my crush and his girlfriend by the sound of things. I didn't want them to know I was there, like some creepy stalkers, so I tried to keep as quiet as possible. I could hear them laughing, and then the girl said, did anyone see you come in here? I hope we didn't get caught. And James replied, no, I don't think so. Oh no, wait, there was a girl from my school, but she wouldn't say anything. She's such a loser. James is so ruthless. Can't you date anywhere else? Like a movie theater, a restaurant. No, basement's very private too. Even like skydiving, you couldn't date Basement's very private unless you get this young G popping in with you. Then I felt angry. I gave the lid one final push, but I pushed too hard. The next moment, I lost my footing and was rolling down the stairs. I landed with a thump and blacked out for a second. When I opened my eyes, James and his girlfriend were standing over me. What? James just looked down at me and said, Did you follow me here? What are you playing at? Then he turned to his girlfriend and said, Come on, babe, let's bounce. Then they just left me lying there and headed up the stairs. I was about to tell them that we were trapped down there, but they'd soon discover it for themselves. And then he shouted down to me and asked if I'd done this and if I thought it was funny. No, James, I did not find this funny. I wanted to shout up at him. Gosh, what would he say if he knew how much I wished I were his girlfriend? Yay. Can he still wish you were his girlfriend? Still? This James boy seems like a little bit of a not a nice person. Yeah. I feel bad for this girl. But then again, she was just I would, be pretty, heart. I would be pretty angry too if someone follows me into a place. Maybe a James isn't a mean person. Maybe James is just trying yeah. to like, be like, why yeah. did you follow me in here? Then he started shouting about how he had to get out ASAP because the next day was his big football game that was going to guarantee him a scholarship to a top college. He said he had to get it, otherwise he'd be stuck in this stupid town forever. I sat up and looked around with my flashlight on my phone and realized there was literally nothing down there except for some sandbags and an old scratchy blanket that looked like a thousand bugs might be living in it. And then I realized I was shivering, like properly freezing cold. I didn't even have a bottle of water on me, and by the looks of things, James and his girlfriend had nothing either. I held my breath as they came down the stairs. I was so scared of what they'd say to me. Wow, this is full on. This is like one of those full on, like, 
gnarly, gnarly story. They were arguing and James's girlfriend came right up to me and said, this is all your fault. You've ruined everything. Truly, that felt like the most awkward moment of my entire life. James told her to try and calm down and I learned her name was Amy. She must have gone to another school because I'd never seen her before. Neither of them had signal either and soon they started screaming for help. I didn't want to tell them it was pointless. Eventually, I told them I was sorry, even though it wasn't my fault. You did close the door. Technically, it's your fault. Technically, you are taking ownership. Oh, and technically... That is not a good thing to do. She said, yeah, right. You're clearly a stalker. Do you get kicks out of watching other people making out or something? James said you're a loser and he wasn't joking. Look at you. Amy looks like she's really annoyed that she can't get out of the tornado bunker and it's yeah. all that good girl's She must fault. have another boy to meet with, Amy. <laughs> but yeah. how would you feel like? If you were Amy, you were like having this really nice special time with your crush mm. and like some other girl wanted to like come in. Yeah. yeah. I would feel pretty, pretty angry. Kind of yeah. messed up. I know. I feel like both sides of the story is me me like, you know. It's messed up and I feel sorry for both. Yeah, people. I know. So I found a corner as far away from Amy as possible and lay down. I was still shivering and thought about using the insect infested blanket, but Amy had already grabbed it. Amy would be like, I don't care how many bugs I have on me, I'm not getting cold. I was so thirsty and even though the shelter luckily had a small toilet, there was no sink, which meant no running water. I'd have drunk the rain earlier if I knew this was going to happen. I, I mean, I think the I rain. The rain too. I drink the mm -hmm. rain. And eventually, I must have fallen asleep because the next moment, I found myself waking up to hearing a rustling sound. I looked over at Amy, and even though I couldn't see anything, I knew she was eating something. I wouldn't have shared it. I wouldn't have shared it. Why would she share it with you? Why would she share it with the girl who, like, was shut the door open? Who side should I be on? Who yeah, side are you on? I feel like the girl is like, I mean, I have done anything wrong. You yeah. get trapped. Finally, morning came. And by then, my phone was at 2%. Soon, I wouldn't even know what time it was. I was bursting for the toilet. So I went to use it. And of course, Amy shouted at me and said my peeing was too loud and had woken her up. Then I noticed there was a light switch outside the toilet. I clicked on it, not expecting it to work. And suddenly, the whole shelter was flooded with light. Amy quickly pulled the blanket up and told me to look away. Oh my gosh, were they not wearing clothes? Then Amy just <laughs> laughed and said everyone knows that body heat is the best way to survive in cold weather. I realized how pretty Amy was, and it really annoyed me. How could I have thought James would ever be interested in someone like me when he had Amy? I felt so insecure about my running clothes, and I hadn't even shaved my legs. I didn't want James noticing. I don't, really, I don't want to be mean, but I don't think you've got a chance with James after what happened with this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Even though James is sus, all well, he was actually doing was like dating a girl, like mm. another girl. And you wanted to, to come in and kind of ruin it. It's kind of fair enough that James and Amy's a bit annoying. I could hear the school bell and feet walking over us, but no one heard me scream. James was complaining about being hungry and Amy too, but I knew Amy had eaten something in the night. She was a liar. We started looking around the place to see if we could find anything, and James suddenly sounded happy. Under the sandbags, he'd found some old bottles of water. The water looked disgusting, but I'd have drunk anything by that point. Both James and I downed like a liter each, but Amy refused. Then about an hour later, I started getting a weird pain in my stomach. Oh no. There was no toilet paper. This couldn't be happening. I had to run and almost puked my guts up. And I wasn't the only one. James raced in after me and at one point, we were both lying on the floor taking it in turns to vomit. Not exactly what I had in mind for our first date together. She still thinks it's their first date? Like, is this girl like... <laughs> She's actually, is she going to Man, Amy was actually really smart to no, not drink that water because yeah. look what happens. Don't if Maybe she, Amy knew. Well, Amy kind of sus though. Amy is so sus. I don't know. I feel like anything that happened in this story. Then
then I noticed an empty soda bottle behind the toilet. Had Amy secretly had a bottle of soda and not told us? How selfish. That first day seemed to fly by. Most of it spent in the bathroom, of course. By the end of the day, I'd almost lost my voice from screaming for help. Would we be stuck down there forever? And then nighttime came, and James and Amy got into a huge fight. Secretly, it made me happy to see them argue. Stop! Why are we all so bad? Everyone's so bad. Like, everyone's just for themselves. Like, yeah, like they're all stuck in the basement and no one's to help each other. He was super upset that he'd missed his football game. But Amy just kept saying he could go to college with her and then they'd never be apart. And James got really angry and said he didn't want to go to her college. A while later, I heard someone saying my name. I opened my eyes and could see James. He said he could hear my teeth chattering and that I should come and share their blanket. But if Amy woke up and saw me, she'd go mental. I didn't care about her though. James was actually being kind of nice to me. So where's her eyes and where's her eyebrows? I just really want to know. I've been struggling with the same thing the entire time. Eyes. That bit's her eyebrows. Yeah, that that bit's her eyeliner and that bit's her eyes. That's actually kind of cool. I couldn't lose my chance. So I climbed under the blanket next to him. Our legs were almost touching. And of course, that woke Amy up. And when she saw me, I thought she was going to explode. James <laughs> wanted to keep the peace. So he snuggled into her and left me lying there all alone. But I couldn't stop thinking about the moment we just shared. And during the night, I decided to try and get closer to him. Then I heard something. They were kissing. I was watching them, wishing it was me he was kissing. I think you could get a lot better boy James than James. James not doing anything wrong then. He I just... think you can find a better boy than James who isn't what? taken. James, James so much. he's not doing anything wrong. He's just sat there trying to make out with this girl. Then this girl wants to follow him in here and he's trying to be nice, but then the other, he just doesn't want to hurt any girl's feelings. I wish we can. Yeah, that's Jane. true. That's his girlfriend. Right. If we're to pause the video now, who do you think is right now in the right? James. 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 James, James. James is in the right. James. Amy opened her eyes and caught me watching them. She told James, but James said I was asleep and that they should get some sleep too. But James didn't go back to sleep. He waited until Amy was snoring next to him, and then he reached out his hand and grabbed mine. Now James is getting yeah. <laughs> No more Team James. Team no one. Team no one. Team James is now liking this other girl, then he's liking another girl, then, then, then the two James. girls are against each other, and then they're all... Everyone's so unloyal. I felt like my heart was going to explode, and I so badly wanted to get closer to him. He likes another girl, you don't like. He's just playing you. He's not playing the same way, he's playing the other girl. He's playing this girl. He's playing both of them. He's playing everyone. I fell asleep holding hands, and I couldn't stop smiling. In the morning, though, I was lying there all alone. When Amy got up to go to the bathroom, I smiled at James, and he smiled back. But then Amy came out and saw me and said, Freak, stop staring at us like that. The rest of that day was kind of weird. We just sat around quietly. At one point, James almost fainted. I mean, we were all starving. I was so weak. I just kept napping. And when I woke up from one of my naps, James and Amy were eating biscuits. Where did they get them from? And I assumed Amy would offer me one, but she didn't. They ate them all. And after that, I didn't speak to either of them. What's happening to their moms and dads? Like, haven't they realized that their kids have been gone for like three days and for some reason, Amy has unlimited supply of food that she keeps pulling out of nowhere? <laughs> Did Amy like want this to happen? Is that why she was prepared? What if they trap? Or maybe yeah. Amy's like me and just always packs some food with What's her. What's going on? You never know. You might get hungry sometimes. I couldn't sleep that night because my stomach was rumbling so loudly. But once Amy had fallen asleep, James reached into his pocket and handed me a biscuit. I swear I almost kissed him right there and then. This was why I had a crush on him. <laughs> Of the other girl, so that's why he's he, in the daytime he's being nice to her, and then when it's night time, that's why when she's asleep, he's trying to give like Team James, Team James, her. Team James again, I Team James. Know, like, it is a little weird how he's like doing two girls. Though. I feel like everyone's yeah. just playing each other. For the next few nights, we got into a bit of a routine. After Amy fell asleep, we'd lie there and hold hands, and one night. James came right up to me, and I could tell he was about to kiss me. But Amy started murmuring in her sleep, 
and he quickly moved over to her and held her. It drove me crazy. First of all, they've been down for a while now. They're going to routine. Mm. Where's the police? Where's, Where's their the parents? Where's the oh. searching? Where's the, Where's the food? Where's the water? How are these kids surviving? Things were really starting to smell. Uh. The toilet, my clothes, it was nasty. And still... James and I hadn't shared a kiss. But for some reason, Amy still looked good. That day I noticed she didn't get up. It was like she'd given up on shouting for help, but it bothered me. So I told her I'd just seen a huge spider and I've never seen her run so fast. <laughs> she ran. What's gonna happen now? She's running so fast. She's running, she's gonna open the door. Raced up the stairs to where James was, and I immediately went over to where she'd been sitting. I just had this feeling she was hiding something, like another pack of biscuits. But I found something much bigger. Under where she'd been sitting was a loose part of the floorboard. I and it was a cookie! It up and couldn't believe what I was seeing. There was so much stuff down there. Beauty products, food, a battery pack, even clothes. Oh my gosh, what was going on? I didn't have time to put the floorboard back before James appeared to find the spider. I whispered that Amy had been hiding stuff. James came running over and pulled out her phone. He knew her password and typed it in quickly. Then he saw some messages that... to find a way to stop him going off to college. I'm scared he'll leave me. As he was reading them and I was eating one of her secret chocolate bars, she came down the stairs. What are you doing? She screamed, but it was too late. We'd caught her red-handed. She tried to grab her phone back from James, but he wouldn't give it to her. It broke down and said that she didn't want James to leave her for college. So she planned this, but she had only meant for them to be stuck down there for one or two days. Then she said I'd ruined it all by turning up and getting them locked in here. But there was something else. While she'd been talking, I'd been digging around and inside a pair of her socks was a key. I held it in my hands and watched as James went crazy at Amy. He said he couldn't believe he dated such a psycho and that she'd officially ruined his life. Then the best part of all, he turned to me and apologized. He said he was sorry he treated me so badly, but actually he'd realized how amazing I was and had enjoyed our sneaky hand-holding sessions while Amy slept. At that, Amy went berserk. Then I turned to James and said, she's been hiding this key the whole time. Before Amy could get to it, I ran up the stairs and undid the lock. James was right behind me and we both climbed out and collapsed onto the ground <laughs> laughing. We were free. And James turned to me and gave me the biggest kiss ever. We could see the janitor running towards us. And before before all hell broke loose with our parents about where we'd been for the past week, James asked for my number. And now we're about to go on our first proper date. The worst week of my life just became the best week. How to get a boyfriend or girlfriend one-on-one? Chop them in the basement. Got to be nice.